Hey everybody, this is Sparhawk, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 4. So guys, Jeff is no longer with us this time. Um, despite me making him sound like he's dead, he actually went back home to be with his family. I rarely ever get to see Jeff. It's like maybe once every six months to a year, and it's even weirder being able to see him with his family and actually have recording time. Uh, that's uh, so almost unheard of, so who knows when Jeff will be back, hopefully soon. But anyway, let's get back to it. Doesn't matter what we say here, um, my personal preference is we came to capture you. The police are after you. They think you're the one who killed King Moron and the other two. So, are you the killer? All the cases... all on me. <laughs> That's right. I did it! You piece of shit! Good call, Kanji. And not just that bastard Moraoka! That stupid announcer! And the Konishi bitch, too! I killed all of them! It was all me! Where'd it go? What's going on? <laughs> it's gone. That frickin' monster disappeared. Take that, son of a bitch! What? You didn't even do anything. We did all the work. Plus, it was your fucking weird shadow baby thing. Ugh. It's terrible. That boss fight sucked. <sighs> hey! He's exhausted. We need to hurry and get him out of here. Alright, I hope you guys like story because there is a lot of it. I believe this entire episode and part of the next episode is story. Be prepared. Where am I? Doesn't matter what you say here again and obviously, man, it's Juness in town. Fucking look around. Why am I here? What the hell are you guys? S stop it. Why did the TV... Hey. You seem confused from everything that happened, but we have a bunch of questions for you. First off, why did you do all this? Answer in ten words or less. <laughs> what the hell? Is that a costume? Well, that was less than ten words, but it wasn't much of an answer. <laughs> what a loser. Get out of my face. Freak. Okay, well, that, that was more than ten words. You fail, Mitsuo! The freak! Gah! Get him, Teddy! Maul him! <laughs> Hold it, Teddy. You're not helping. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, are you the killer? Did you really do it? Did you really do it? Get off my back. I already told you. I did it. How could you do such a thing? Three people are dead because of you. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it, right? It's a huge deal. And I did it. All of it. All by myself. You just wanted the attention? Then why did you target me and the others? How did you kidnap us? <sighs> Whoa, look who it is. <laughs> hey, Yuki. After all this time, now you want to talk to me? <laughs> what bullshit. Answer me! If you held a grudge against me, that's fine! But why the others? <laughs> what a joke. You're so desperate, it hurts. You know, I just noticed something, guys. Look at his right eye. He has a slight twitch. It's... I never noticed that before. That is... <laughs> it's awesome. How did it take me this long to see that? I didn't care who I attacked. Everyone pisses me off. 
You what? Gotta be kidding me. You killed Senpai over nothing? You son of a bitch! Throw him back in the TV. I hope you're ready to get what's coming to you. Okay, or Kanji can beat the shit out of him. <laughs> what? You gonna kill me? Kanji kun! Just stomp on his balls. They're just right there, man. Just like, mm. do it. Kill you? It ain't gonna be that easy, you piece of shit. What you did can never be taken back. No, you're gonna own up to your crimes and pay for what you did. You ain't gonna be allowed to kick the bucket until you understand exactly what it is you've done. <sighs> Why, damn it! Why does she have to die because of this bastard? <sighs> Dude, the cops. Huh? What are you waiting for? Call the damn police! Yeah, you're right. Yosuke... Call the ambulance. Wah! All right. Well, I guess we've caught the killer. He's owned up to everything, so. Uh, at least Adachi san seemed happy. Well, I guess this means our work is done. He did it all to draw attention. I, I can't get my head around that. It's just wrong. I mean, not that it would have been okay if he'd had a better reason. I know. Don't worry. It's finally over. Let's leave the rest to the police. My world will be peaceful again now. Yeah, I'm happy for you. We really went through a lot. Like scoring with guys. <laughs> I can't add anything to that. <laughs> oh, come on! Will you ever let it go? No! Don't let it go, Teddy. Forever. Scoring with hot studs. Forever. What? Scoring with guys? Y you don't need to know the details. I'm sure you'd like us to forget the sauna incident, too. Right, Kanji-kun? Uh... What? Well... That's not fair. I wanted to see everyone else's, too. That's right. We three are the only ones who saw everyone's secret. We saw it. Hey, we saw it all. Hey, so what was Yosuke's like? Come on, it's about time you told us. Uh, it was embarrassing. I don't remember much. Pretty much like the rest. Um... <laughs> We'll, we'll give him a break. I, I don't remember much. Come on, let's leave it at that. Speaking of which, nothing really happened in your case, huh? Really? Wait, really? Is there something special about Senpai after all? Sensei is the man! And now that the case is solved, we won't be calling you leader anymore, will we? You guys still can, it's cool. Or sensei, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, it's kind of sad. Hey, why don't we have a celebration? We always have a rap party after we're done shooting. It's fun and it'll help give us some closure. Ooh, a party, that sounds great. Let's go all out. Oh, oh, I want to go to Yuki-chan's house. Gorgeous dinner, hot springs, table tennis, yukata, geisha, Fujiyama, full witness! <laughs> A witness indeed. Let's do it. Let's invite ourselves over. You're right. Yukiko-senpai's family runs a hot springs inn. A hot spring that Yukiko-senpai baits into? <laughs> Calm down there, Kanji. Hey, keep it to yourself. You're sounding like a creep. Well, it sounds like fun, but I don't think it's possible today. 
Yeah, it's summer vacation. All the rooms must be occupied. We can't do a sleepover. Maybe next time. I promise. Hey, why don't we hit your place instead? Oh, but will your uncle get suspicious? Like, why are you all celebrating? Now, it does matter what you say here. And what you need to say is, all right, let's do this. Great, let's head over right away. Oh yeah, if your uncle's a detective, he might not come home tonight. Nanako-chan might be getting hungry. Hey, then why don't we make dinner together? Oh, Wow, are you no. good at cooking, senpai? No, no. No more mystery food X. Well, sort of. What are you saying? This is going to turn out poorly. Did you already forget the tragedy of the school camp out? We already told you that was an accident. She's right. We just got a couple of the ingredients wrong. Guys, please don't do this. I'm begging you. I don't need another trauma to deal with. Hey, I'm a good cook, too. I'll be the judge of that. I'll make something for you, senpai. I'm still terrified. Ta-da! Teddy has a great idea! Let's have a cooking battle! The winner will be crowned Iron Cook Inaba! A cooking battle? Now I'm even more worried. Sure! That sounds like fun. Aw, but I'll win hands down. You sure you want to make it that easy? Dude, listen to me. For the sake of our stomachs, you have to cook something too. Help us, partner. You're our only hope. Help us, Charlie Tanoku. You're our only hope. Then okay, you can Princess represent Leia. the guys team. Nanako Chan will be our judge. I can be a taster too. Teddy can be a tester too. Wait, a tester or a taster? At the end, you're supposed to say, that was delicious, right? Woo! I'm all getting right. all fired up. So, just to clarify, guys, we're actually like, um, they're kind of doing sort of a, an Iron Chef thing here. I don't know if you've ever seen Iron Chef. It's a fucking awesome show, but they're kind of parodying it here. Iron Chef Inaba. All right, let us advance forth into the grocery section downstairs. Charge! So yeah, my commentary, I'm not going to say a whole lot because there is just so much story here. Every time I start talking, um, it's going to slow things down, just like I'm doing now. So Juness Grocery Department, where the last debacle happened. You decided to call Nanako to tell her about the cooking competition. Oh my god, the, whenever they have people talking over the phone in this game, whatever overlay, like, the, the sound manipulation they're doing, it's horrible. Like, it just feels like it's a robot spucking my ear. It's terrible. Huh? Dinner? You're all going to cook? Ask Nanako-chan what she wants for dinner. What do I want? Um, anything's fine. She's just being modest. She's just being modest. Ask her again. <laughs> oh man, I played this game before. Well, um, an omelet. I want to eat omelet with fried rice. Okay, I'll be waiting. You ended the phone call. Nanako seems to be looking forward to it. Fried rice omelet. An excellent choice, Nanako chan. With a dish that simple, I doubt we'll get a second helping of Mystery Food X! Huh? What's wrong? Not that thing. <laughs> Alright, let's go get our ingredients. I am terrified. This is gonna end poorly. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, if they're all making the same thing, why are they splitting up to different parts of the market? Looks like you'll need all the help I can give you. Hey, what kind of omelet are you making? I'll go get the ingredients for you. 
All right, what kind of omelet should we make? Uh, the Orthodox ketchup flavored, Asian American soy flavored, herb filled, province style, aromatic Mediterranean style. Man, I'm surprised that, that Charlie knows how to make all of these. Well, supposedly he does. There is a correct answer here, and it is actually. Da 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 da! Drum roll, please! No, no drum roll? Okay, well, I'll just, I'll just pick it. Um, Asian American soy flavored. You gave the Yosuke a list of ingredients you'll need. Everyone brought their basic ingredients to the card. Yeah, that's a lot of shit. Foie gras? Quite an eye you got there, senpai. It's a must have for my special omelet. Don't worry, I'll let you have a taste. Ooh, or maybe I could spoon feed you. <laughs> so, right, I, I just want to point this out real quick. Right now, I think. <laughs> look at Rize's right arm, like right at the shoulder below. That just looks incredibly uncomfortable and very unnatural. Like the way her arm's bending back. They probably could have done a little better job on that, huh? last time you choked down something so awful that words couldn't describe it. That's true. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you poor dears. Who would do such a horrible thing? Hurry, say san This is going to be the only chance you get to gloat. Is that clear? I'll crush you with one strike. Whoa! You guys look like you're ready to enter the ultimate frying championship. Kanji-kun, that's alcohol! Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't put it back! Oh, by the uh, way, where's Teddy? Kanji could probably get away with being... Uh, is it 21? I don't know, is it 21 in Japan? Who knows? Miss, am I allowed to eat this? Of course you can, dear. Eat as much as you like. You're such a nice lady. Is this one cooked already? <laughs> this one's ready too. Oh my, are you hungry for more? Here, I'll open this one too. You're so beautiful. Oh my! No! No, I mustn't. I've got a husband and a son. But you want to. But I really want this meat, and I want you to cook it, miss. Oh, I couldn't possibly. The manager would get so upset. I'm gonna knock the stuffing out of that bear. <laughs> All right, so I guess we have a food competition going. Risa chan was right. This celebration does make me feel like it's over. The case really has come to an end. <sighs> wow, it's really Risa chan I should go back over there soon. Are you going somewhere? Yep. The guys kept their promise. A promise? Oh. What if you made a promise with me? Could you stay then? A promise with Nana-chan? Play with me, how about that? Sensei, you kept your promise with me, so I should go back over there. Um, ah, don't worry about it, man. You can stay, it's cool. Doesn't matter what you say there, by the way. But a promise is a promise, it's not good to break them. Uh, once again, it doesn't matter what you say. It'll be lonely without you. You promise not to go. Don't go, Teddy. Don't go. Um. Hmm. Don't go, Teddy. Don't go. 
can say. My promise with Nana-chan. I made a promise to play with her. Can I really stay here? It wasn't just my promise. Nana-chan made it with me. I'm really, really happy. Thank you. Teddy's eyes are watering. Daw. <laughs> That's silly bear. All right, guys, we're actually going to call it here. I have no idea what time it is in the episode, how long this has been. Uh, my usual recording setup, I don't have it. So, I mean, it could be like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I feel like it's maybe around like 15, 16 minutes, maybe 20. I don't know. Anyway, I apologize if this is the, uh, a shorter episode than normal. But we did just have some long episodes. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.